So if you're making fifty thousand dollars, don't date. I'm I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's going to date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Be cutting up. I'm you just talk about saying. me. The audacity. This is why men and say, men ask women, what do you bring to the table? Because the expectations on men. So men just shoot it back. What do I get for being above average? This is the thing, right? Women don't understand. What do men get for being above average? Because 50K, right? Men, men that make 50K, they're average, right? That And that's the majority of men. So now, what do, let's say, 100K men make? I mean, get. A chubby woman, right? Imagine this, right? She said, if you make under 50K, you shouldn't date. So, what, let's say this, right? Is she fine with the, the, the reverse rhetoric where men say, if you look fat, you shouldn't date. You shouldn't accept any date. You shouldn't go out on the date. Because, well, men are attracted to looks, right? Because you don't really... I mean, you may not qualify for, um, you know, to be that attractive. You're not that tr attractive, right? Yeah, you may get bottom of the barrel men that likes fat chicks. This is the thing where it, it's like it, it, it boggles my mind that women never think of the reverse, the hypocrisy. How terrible would it sound if men reverse the things that women say, right? The insanity. It's like, this is the thing, right? You make it seem like 50K, you can't go out on a date. Yeah, there are there are not expensive restaurants. But what what I guarantee you, she's thinking about, oh, going to top-level restaurants, having top-level experiences. This is why I said, right? Women are essentially extracting experiences from you. Monetarily experiences, right? Trips, uh, high-class restaurants, presents, you know, Anything that costs a lot. So they're going to extract it. And this is the thing, right? What's the point? What's the point in women making money for themselves? That's why I say, right? Men do not care if you make money. Men do not care if you have accomplishments. Because why? It means nothing to a man. Because a 50K man is useless in these women's eyes. So men have to be top earners. So if he's making money, why does he care if you make money? When she's saying, you're, you're the one who's spending the money. You know, men are the one who's spending the money. So really, women's money is meaningless. And you wonder why men don't care about women's job, don't care about women's accomplishments. Because it don't mean nothing to men. It doesn't benefit men. And this is funny too, right? She's saying, you, go, you, you can only qualify bottom of the barrel women. That they're not going to build you up and all these things, right? They're not, they're not going to support you. Okay? So you, you think a man that makes 100K, a man that makes more than 100K, needs a woman's support? Needs a woman to build him up? He's, he's building himself up. He's already he's either already built or he's, he's, he's building himself up already. So really, a woman's help is nice, but it's not needed. Men that, let's say, makes 50K, he would benefit for a woman to help him build himself up more to he's 50k makes it to 100k this is a thing where women just seem to not grasp any kind of logic at all that's why guys aren't dating right now
and it's because a lot of them are just grinding, right? They're this is just my take as a 26 year old who dated a 31 year old man who waited till he was in the peak of his career to start dating seriously. At first, yes, I was impressed that he had a good career and he had his own apartment and he seemed to be mature. But once I started dating him, I realized that he lacked a lot of skills to have a successful, healthy, long-term relationship that's sustainable. He had no emotional intelligence or maturity. He lacked conflict resolution skills. He didn't know how to repair a relationship. He didn't know how to validate a partner's emotions and feelings. He didn't know how to compromise. And those are all skills that you can learn and pick up as you go through meaningful romantic relationships in your 20s. But yeah, any woman who has self-worth and self-esteem is not going to put up with any of that shit. So you can grind and wait till you're 30 and you might get the hot girl for a month or two. But once she realizes that you have no relationship skills, she's going to leave because nobody wants to teach you how to be in a relationship at that you know, age. No, I agree that men need um, social skills. Especially, you know, how to interact with women. I agree. But this is a point where I want to make that things, the videos like this just shows you that women want perfection. Because I, I have another video of women saying that if you make 50K, you shouldn't date. <laughs> it's like, this is the thing where women wants to build a man. A man that's socially calibrated, that knows how to talk to women, charming, uh... A man that's tall, six foot and above. A man that's good looking. Uh, a man that's fit. Um, a man that makes a hundred k. You know, a man that's good in bed. You know, and the list goes on and on. And then you wonder why a lot of women are either chronically single, or they can't make um, a marriage or relationship work because they're unhappy. Because this is the thing with, with women: they have so many options in their mind. They think that. There, there has to be something better out there. There has to be a man that fits all my criterias. Okay? There has to be a man that's like 90, 99% of what I want in a man. This is the thing that women don't understand. Yes, no man is perfect. But I, like I said, I do agree that a man that's socially calibrated, you know, is a good thing. But... Are, are you telling me that you dated a man that doesn't have a single friend that's never been around people be in his whole life? Does he, he doesn't know how to interact with a single person in his life because he has no social skills at all? I mean, it's like you make it seem like you, you're dating a baby, a man with absolutely zero social skills, or, or is that you have higher expectations for men, right? That he's not, he's just not meeting it, right? He's not emotionally calibrated enough he's not he's not enough anything this is the thing where I, I i said it plenty of times before women are their own worst enemy okay because in their in their state of mind nothing is ever enough okay and th this is the thing nothing is ever enough this man doesn't make enough this man is not charming enough this man is not tall enough this man is just not enough so i'm gonna leave and find better which is possible right of course there's probably always gonna be better men out there but you gotta think those better men well they're better for, for uh, in the eyes of a lot of women so not saying they're cheap but they have options the men that you want usually the men that a lot of women want so it will be harder to tie them down this is the thing what women don't understand no man is perfect nobody is perfect if he has 80%, 70% of what you want, you know, it's not a bad thing. But again, things like, things like this just shows you that women want perfection or close to it. And again, like I said, I don't disagree that men should be more socially calibrated, more, you know, just more understanding, more empathetic, you know, just, you know, not absolutely oblivious uh, when being with someone. But there's a point where you're asking for too much, right? Because you want too much. So, and you make this, you make the dating pool for you smaller and harder to find. But, you know, it is what it is. Just because you ain't got no money, you love him? Had to. That ain't right. I don't like that. If I'm making more money than him, I don't. You right. should help him get some more money. How am I going to do that, though? If I have my own career, I'm doing what I'm doing. A woman's supposed to be a helpmate. I feel like a man is supposed to be that for a girl. A man's supposed to be a leader. You right. You're supposed to help him be a better leader. So I was in the wrong. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. Why are you looking for a daddy? 
I ain't looking for a daddy. I got my own money. I can do what I do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need a guy for money. I want a man to be stable. If I was to leave him, I want him to be... So you, he wasn't stable? Um, He was okay, but I was making more than him. But he was stable, though. <laughs> Yeah, I guess yeah. So why are you leaving Because he wasn't doing better than me I need a guy doing better than me And if he's not doing better than me Then <laughs> I guess I feel like it would have been more real If you would have helped him get To where you Want him to Y'all want to These guys I feel like guys want that love story Like I feel like guys want us Females to be with them in the trap Do nah. what they do And then When nobody shit goes that. downhill No you nobody want that You want that you could have helped him outside of the trap. You could have helped him get a barber license or anything. He was good at that, but he could have did that himself. He could not well, I'm not his mom. I'm not gonna carry him and go do 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 this and this. I don't believe that any woman have to uh, build with a man, but I honestly believe that if women want uh, successful men, they need to find men that they can build with. Because you gotta think. Men that, let's say, you want to wait at the finish line for, right? That he's already built, that he's successful already. Well, he's going to have a certain type of mindset that he's going to be very more cautious. Um, uh, and he's just going to think that, like, okay, he had to build himself up with no help, right? That you weren't there for him. So there's no... Um, at least there's no underlying loyalty there, right? So now you have to, you know, build that loyalty for him to make a suit. And I think that that loyalty might be even harder because now he's more weary because are you just acting for his money, right? Um, and the money that he had to work so hard for himself. This is a thing where women want, um, you know, perfect men. And it's... It's easier to build that perfection than look for it afterwards. Because now these men, most women want them, right? Most women are after them. So this is a thing where it just shows you that, you know, <clears throat> women just seem to be a hypocrites. Because you can think about this. This clip already shows you that, okay, she wants a man that makes money. Okay, great. But why? Because she said she has his own money. She has her own money. So it's just like it just the whole the whole thing is hypocritical, right? She's a hypocrite because then why does it matter that uh, he makes money or not? Okay, and now you got like like I said, now if she finds a man that makes money, he's he might not be as loyal, right? He has he might not have any loyalty towards her. Why? Why would he need to? And more women would want him instead of if she had a man that she loved, right, in other aspects, right, his personality, all of the other stuff, and she built him into a successful man, there's, I'm not saying it's 100%, but there's more chance for him to be a loyal man, because she was a ride or die, she was there with him when he was at his lows. When women make money, what's the first thing they scream? I'm strong and independent, right? Right. When you ask yourself, when a woman says I'm independent, who are they independent of? themselves right independent yeah. of men ladies yeah no. independent. thank you oh, yes, okay. yes. Assistance. independent kind of, of no. men because it used to be men are the providers a woman is under that man he takes care of her etc so when women make money the first thing they do is flex and say i'm independent but exactly of who it's of men that's I that's 90 percent of the po reason why maybe 10 percent their dad or their parents but in general it's because i don't need a man right Right, but right. when men make money, we never say that. Could you imagine if we walked around and we said, we're strong, we're independent. Like, you would laugh at us. <laughs> like, what the fuck? When men get money, they look at it like, all right, cool. I could take care of a girl and a family. When women make money, they say, I don't have to tolerate the fuckery with a guy and build a family with a guy I don't want. This is something that women don't understand. This is why men do not care about women's careers, their achievements, how much money they make. It means nothing to men. It doesn't attract men. And women can't seem to grasp that. Just like um, the whole Simone Biles crap that happened a while ago. While women and some simp men were constantly on, oh, she's a, a Olympics, Olympic gold medalist and she has, who cares? What does that mean? That doesn't mean nothing. That means absolutely nothing to any man, right? And possibly, right, you got to think the men that care about your money, the men that care about your achievements, those are 
men that either are faking it, right? They're trying to lie to you, right? Do the game to make you feel good. Or they're trying to use you. Men that have their shit down. Because men know that they have to become something. They have to provide something to create the family, uh, you know, have kids, have a wife. They need to have something, right? Be able to provide. So a woman, provi a woman doesn't provide for a family, right? She nurtures, she takes care of a family. She doesn't provide for a family. So again, that's why men know it. But women seem to not be able to grasp nobody, no man. Right? No decent man cares about a woman's career, cares about a woman's money, cares about a woman's accomplishments. It means nothing. Men don't benefit from it. Men don't benefit from women having money because women don't take care of men. Not, not in the majority, right? Not in general. Women don't take care of men financially. They ne the women never do, right? I mean, there are, there are, of course, some cases, but those men are those men are playing a game they're playing a game towards women to use women so and they're not even a common they're not even a common case men don't do it often so this is the thing that are, like I said men don't benefit from women making money it's nice right you can take care of yourself that's great you know you, you have a career and you're happy about it that's awesome but again it don't make you more attractive to men because men don't benefit from it it doesn't do anything for men.